Welcome back, I'm here with Championship correspondent Pascal Lemaire to talk about Saturday evening's match between Nottingham Forest and Leeds United. Both clubs have been hit with a transfer embargo this week and things aren't much better on the field. Nottingham Forest without a win in three now. They are and the last result will be particularly disappointing for them because it's a nil-nil draw at Rotherham United and given where Rotherham are, they can't score a goal themselves at the moment. They've only scored one goal in their last seven games and Forest went there and they didn't even manage a shot on target and that's so disappointing given some of the firepower they've got. They've got players like Asson Belonga, obviously he's right up there in the scoring charts. Mikel Antonio has been great for them since signing and to not even get a shot on target there's really disappointing and they're back at home here and their home form hasn't been much better recently. It's just one home win in six games so you know they're ninth in the table, still not that far off the playoffs but there's plenty to improve for Pierce. Leeds are struggling as well, two defeats in a row now. Definitely, yeah, and the one uh, last week against Fulham would be really disappointing because they've been pretty good at Ellen Road this season, one of the better home teams in the league, but to lose 1-0 at home to Fulham there, who had, had lost 5-0 the previous week there, so to not even score at home is always disappointing. There's obviously, you mentioned the transfer embargo stuff, there's also the Chilino stuff that's hanging over their heads, so a lot of problems off the pitch there, and their away form has been terrible as well. They've only won once away from home this season. That was at Bournemouth, you know, one of the best teams in the league, so shows they can do it, but you know, they need to be a lot more consistent. What's your prediction for this one? Yeah, I think I'm going to go for Forest here. Obviously, the sort of transfer embargo will be the sort of big story because they both had it hit them this week. But I think given that Forest, you know, they, they do OK at home. Their home form hasn't been great recently, but I'm going to back them to win 3-1. Sportsmore going for a 3-1 win for Nottingham Forest.